This is Chicho again. Now, what we're going to do in this video is take a sort of um, close-up look at the art, um, some of the art anyway, that um, we've ended up buying um, that I've acquired in the last few months. Okay. Now, this video is part three of a sort of a set I put together. The first two videos are us doing the prep work for putting this larger piece on the wall. The first video was sort of doing a little bit of mathematics where we're doing just measurements and doing some division, multiplying, and dealing with a little bit of fractions uh, where we put the hooks on the picture frame on the back of it, right? So we could hang it up on the wall. The second video, we actually did um, the measurements required to hang up the picture frame, right? And again, just simple mathematics, uh, sort of just measurement again and division or just, actually we didn't even do any division, we just did measurements on the second video, right? Because what we did was link up the distances we had on, you know, we did on the back of the picture frame and we did the same measurements to hook it up on the wall, right? So those two videos I sort of connected with ASMR math. Um, because in, in our everyday lives, there is a lot of mathematics, right? Even putting up pictures on the wall. Now, what we're gonna do in this video is uh, zero mathematics, but we are gonna take a close look at this, uh, this art. And in the previous two videos, I mentioned that uh, uh, there was two other pieces that accompanied this larger piece uh, that you sort of got a quick glimpse at at the end of the second video, right? So the two, pictures that I was referring to are the two pictures that you see behind me or the two they're not pictures they're uh, art done on wood okay so I'm going to show you these two guys first and then we're going to take a look at the larger piece okay so this one is uh, and just to tell you the history of this or the story behind this is here let me show you this this is the piece And uh, I don't know if the description, it doesn't say how he made this. I think it's burnt in, uh, or is it pencil? I'm not 100% sure I did this. It might be pencil, so I shouldn't be touching. You know, when you get art, you should never really touch the art, right? But I might not have a choice as I'm grabbing it like this. But basically, this is one of the pieces that we ended up buying, okay? And the story behind this is, um we went to a you know just a local most of the art that i do buy is very local local artists and as you know i like um you know i i do collect art uh, if you've been following my comic book videos and that's one of the reasons i collect comic books because i think it's amazing art right uh, as well as a few other reasons right amazing stories human artifacts right uh, so I like collecting art, uh, comic books by, you know, far, by, by far and large, I guess it's, that's, the, that's the saying, right? Uh, that's my biggest collection of all, right? Uh, so whenever I get a chance, whenever something catches my eye, I, locally anyway, I like to buy it. Uh, so what we ended up doing was... This one is a little bit more detailed. And uh, what we ended up doing was uh, we went to a local coffee shop, art gallery, sort of a music venue. And uh, I was standing at the, at the bar and my partner was there as well. And we looked over to one of the walls. It was sort of an art gallery opening as well. We looked over at one of the walls and this amazing piece that you saw a glimpse of in the second video was hanging really far away and we both sort of looked at this thing and went, what? And we went over and we bought that piece, right? Looked at it and instantaneously we knew we were going to buy it. And there was a lot of, well, not a lot, but 
the artist had done a fair bit of work of this type as well that you're seeing of different size pieces and different I guess creatures or uh, fairy tale type of stuff very fairy tale look to it right and uh, you know I love sci-fi and fairy tales as well fantasy so you know we bought the larger piece because you know say you have to think about money when you're buying things right if you could if you had unlimited funds uh, I'm pretty sure many people would buy as many things as they love as uh, as possible right so we bought the larger piece and then we thought you know we're very happy we thought about buying some of these smaller pieces as well but you know our budget so we decided not to buy and we came home and uh, we woke up the next morning and we we're both oh no 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 we gotta go back we need two accompanying pieces with the larger piece and these are the two pieces that we ended up buying when we went back to the to the gallery right and I think it's beautiful there's like the let me give you a closer look of this one because since this one's more intricate It's just the art is uh, it, it is beautiful and it makes me happy or makes us happy anyway so uh, if any art puts a smile on your face or makes you think or you know brings a tear to your eye uh, that's something you've connected with and that's my thing I tend to gravitate towards things that uh, to gravitate towards things that make me happy when I'm buying local art um, comic books uh, different game I like uh, there's a few different things that I like about comic books a few different genres and I tend to gravitate towards all of them um, okay now for the larger piece okay let's take a look at this thing and this thing is pretty intense uh, but it is brilliant now these are the anchors remember i took it down these the first video we put these anchors in and we did the measurements and made sure it was symmetrical and the second video we did the measurements on the wall so this is what it looks like okay i'm gonna give you a close-up look first gonna get a full view of this thing I'll take a I'll take a good picture of this and uh, show you and the number of creatures types of creatures that he's drawn here are you know some of them are you know creatures that are you know exist in the real world sort of mutate and some of them are just as imagination right. and it's a beautiful piece Right. And 
this thing when we saw it we both had a huge huge smile on our faces i stood there in front of the thing for like 10 minutes just big smile on my face looking at all the different creatures that he's got here and uh, the words on it it says I didn't even really see the word when we decided to buy it uh, I'm more imagery um, images tend to uh, trigger me more than words but uh, it says friends with wood and that's you know he does his work on wood that's one of the things but his name last name is uh, his first name is um, Brad and his last name is Radwood so it's sort of a I don't know if it's a pun, it's, pun is not the right word to use, I guess, but it's sort of a spin off of the art and his, uh, his name, right? And we're back to the teddy bear. <laughs> oh, Tom. Right. It's beautiful. And this is, uh, sort of a compilation mishmash sort of a print on on wood it's not uh, it's not drawn on there there's a I forget what the terminology is for it uh, lacquered or I forget what it's called see the reflection of the light that's better yeah let's give it another go without the reflection of the light beautiful and the color scheme that he's used is absolutely magnificent so this is sort of uh, you know I have different types of art as well. I love, I love old school art as well, and I have some, some pieces where I put together some pieces. Um, but uh, I definitely do love my fantasy, and when it comes to, you know, investing, uh, and I consider investing to be, you know, be more than just monetary, right? Um, when you invest in something or when I invest in something I think about if it's not just the monetary aspect but also how much time I'm going to you know uh, spend enjoying whatever it is that I'm investing in if my investment is going to be part of my space and uh, am I going to appreciate it multiple times right is it a one go or it is is something that I'm going to continuously uh, continue to appreciate and when it comes to comic books and art um, as far as I'm concerned uh, there's very few other investments that you could make one of them being of course or two of them being investing in your mind and your body your health right and they're connected so it's really one thing so investing in your health is the best investment advice anyone could ever give you right mentally and physically if I was give you you know to give you another investment advice invest in art okay. and family of course and friends okay so this is the piece and uh, you know of course we put it up uh, in another location of the house that we're in because it fit perfectly there uh, and um, it's okay to separate them with these two pieces because I think um, they look beautiful here right uh, they're fantastic pieces okay and they do complement uh, my comics uh, <laughs> very well right different you know human artifacts right these comic books that you see here uh, I believe they're all from the 1940s 
right? Brilliant. Right. So we have one wall, 1940s, facing local art from Victoria or West Coast, British Columbia, uh, from 2015, right? So the art that you see here, the separation is how many years? 1940, so that's 60. Um, let's say 19, let's say 1950, I guess, 50, 60, 65 years, 70 years difference, separation between the art you see here and the art you see here. And um, it's, it's beautiful, it's human artifacts, right? Something I definitely like investing my uh, uh, money on, my time on, my space on, right? Uh, it's something that keeps on giving. I hope you enjoyed uh, these videos and I hope you like the artwork that we ended up buying. Uh, I really like it. We really like that. I think it looks, uh, looks beautiful. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.